speed i have utilized so many resources like harrison based is my favorite part harrison based teaching is so good so i felt like harrison based teaching from the specialist in speed is so much useful for me and it will be for every aspirant speed allowed me an opportunity to work along with preparing so i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute to dr shri hari for scoring aml rank number 1 cml rank number 1 in the specialty of dm urology in thank you sir session uh, november 2025 congratulations to you doctor thank you very much sir <laughs> so i owe a lot to speed thank you doctor and uh, great to have you here today and thanks for sharing your time to share your experiences and we are honest great we wish to know uh, what is your core interest and what is that you wanted to do and before that share can you briefly share your history from where you started till date what all you have done uh, so i uh, did my uh, mbbs from molana azad medical college delhi subsequently i did my md medicine from aims raipur and then uh, uh, senior residency i joined in jipmer uh, one year i did in medicine and subsequently four months i did in neurology so uh, be i i want to i'm a, uh, want to remain in medicine but at the same time i feel like uh, working with the specialist departments uh, is good to uh, have a point of view how they view their uh, individual specialties so that's it uh, so that was one of the reason why i wanted to work closely with neurology and i had attempted this exam so. great and previously your achievements were rank 1 in infectious disease and rank 1 in acute uh, acute care good care so i mean can you share something on that sure sir so uh, like i told i i felt these two branches are also very close to medicine because acute care medicine is a general medicine equivalent of critical care critical care medicine is a branch in which the 20 to 30 question come from anesthesia but uh, the uh, general paper will be critical care in acute care also but then for a general medicine aspirant it will be easy to give the acute care medicine which has two seats in pgi for a general medicine aspirant this is better to give because the general questions for 20 questions will be from general medicine and it will be easier from the background critical care is also achievable from general medicine no doubt about that but then requires special effort for the anesthesia questions and then infectious disease again definitely another branch which is so closely knit with medicine if we go to medicine we realize so much this infectious disease either patient come with an infection or uh, due to hospitalization there are hospital acquired complications which are infections so infectious disease is also something which was so rewarding for me to learn and prepare to for because uh, covering a wide spectrum of infections even transplant infections and all which i haven't been exposed in md medicine uh, that branch was so much rewarding to pre- prepare as well sir. so can you share when did you uh, go, i mean what was the exam that you got in infectious disease first rank and what was the exam that you got acute care medicine first rank uh if I, uh, last section actually last session i have been given sir before this immediately 6 months back i had i had been given at uh, the last to last the previous me one year back i had got infectious disease uh, first rank and before that six month back i i had started with acute care medicine <laughs> very nice and now you have given dm neurology and you have got uh, first rank in that and is there any scope that the new dm neurology uh, will have an opportunity to take uh, sri hari inside or what is uh, sri hari is going to decide on that honestly sir i uh, it's a blessing to learn medicine and learn neurology the branch is much bigger than me so <laughs> i am blessed to have learned neurology so is trihar is plan to join or is planning to stay with general medicine looking for something else honestly i i am uh, yet to decide sir i'll talk with my family but honestly general medicine is so tempting to stay by <laughs> <laughs> what a passion for general medicine huh even in spite of getting uh, top ranks in various specialties but still it to go out of general medicine to that specialty to on what he wants to do and anyway i mean i mean it's the first time i'm seeing a person in my 25 years of my medical career that i'm a real passionate person uh, in general medicine after getting the desired ranks not desired rank the top most rank is the rank number 1 in various specialties that he attempted but still it to desired where he has to move on such an such a amazing and a brilliant and a wonderful person i have met in my entire career i'm telling you right now in this in the screen today with the first day hari and uh, because this is the kind of uh, the confidence and the passion and the respect for medicine and for oneself 
should carry and he is a standing example for that i'm really privileged to take an interview with you today at the same time it's an honor having been working with you for the past one year sir it it takes pe- uh, people like you who have uh, who have achieved so much but at the same time are humble uh, so i to aspire and reach this uh, the, such a rank it takes someone like you to also model i have been following you also throughout this one year sir thank you doctor thank you <laughs> and uh, thanks for the great words and uh, can we know uh, how is that going to be from now on i mean what is that you are going to do from now on and what is that you have been preparing to achieve this i mean i want to know what is the secret behind achieving repeatedly consistently rank number 1 in various uh, specialty exams in enss so uh, honestly i feel like right uh, this time what made a difference in my rank was uh, i was i had read acute care medicine and gen, uh, infectious disease so i was a bit comfortable with the general medicine bucket of questions so of course a uh, 20 25 questions from the paper comes from general medicine and we cannot ignore general medicine considering when every every question is rank deciding so 20 25 questions is too many so i was comfortable a bit with general medicine because i had given two different subjects earlier but at the same time i kept my touch with uh, endocrinology and gastroenterology cardiology all these branches uh, cardiology i think three to four questions came this time so i had revised this uh, of course no i i was focusing on neurology but at the same time every day or at least every alternate day i made a point to revisit some subject in uh, general medicine and at the same time biostatistics as well at this, this time four questions had come from biostatistics so honestly we may or may not like the subject but uh, the professors in the inis do research and they will put question in from biostatistics so again i had focused a bit of my time in biostatistics definitely uh, i had given maybe the, the two to three days in biostatistics because i had a i had a gut feeling biostatistics will come and it paid off three to four questions of biostats had come so one part i would say tell about uh, ini preparation is of course a subject preparation is no doubt needed and that is the core strategy no doubt about that but general medicine should not be okay great now uh, i want to ask you uh, about the paper orientation how was the neurology paper uh, so honestly neurology paper was a moderate difficulty uh, this time uh, general medicine was quite easy this time and that's what popular opinion was also there and neurology was moderate difficulty honestly after i came back from the exam i felt like it's an easy level then when i analyzed the recalls i understood that the easy appearing questions are also difficult level because they were trap questions so there will be similar uh, two options or three options so that while we are busy giving the exam uh, we might be trapped to think this is a this is the right option and it might be something else so when recalls start coming in we'll realize so honestly from this paper i would give uh, a tip to the aspirants that uh, although the paper might look uh, simple or every time when you are answering a question just take back 5 seconds at least and ask yourself is this the right answer or uh, uh, just if you just ask yourself for 5 seconds after every uh, answering every option is this the right answer then you might uh, recognize the traps so honestly uh, uh, popular opinion will be it was an easy to moderate level difficulty i would say it was moderate level difficulty due to so many easy appearing questions which were traps great now can you share something on your interview part sure sir uh, interview Uh, i would personally suggest that irrespective of whatever your cml result will be uh, like you may think that you will you will qualify or you may not uh, qualify irrespective but i feel like from after the cml exam after the 80 questions of mcq you have answered should keep that behind and start in one to two days start preparing for interview because someone who is preparing for neurology is decided that they want neurology irrespective this time or next time they are going to uh, write the exam so preparing for interview is always a win win situation irrespective of the cml result so i suggest to start preparing for i uh, personally i had juniors who had given neurology exam they had ask me uh, sir i had from the recalls the way uh, the other aspirants are telling the answers it seems like my answers are not right i don't think i'll qualify and uh, i told that junior you keep all of these things behind and prepare and honestly he got rank 4 in uh, aml that that was a 
people like uh, fourth rankers can also be uncertain whether they will qualify for the interview or not so that uncertainty can come to anyone so i'll tell to start preparing right off and interview is uh, the mode of preparation is different from the mcq you should not sit and revise mcq questions and mcq theory again interview the topics focused are uh, different uh, the uh, the fact based uh, topics won't be focused but approach based topics will be focused for example in uh, neurology clinical examination uh, neuropathies myopathies and uh, motor neuron disease so these are the things which are clinical examination based so they may give an image of hand atrophy or uh, there will be some food deformity and they will ask how to approach a uh, second part is neuroradiology neuroradiology is very important both my questions were from neuroradiology only they may show a ct or they may show an mri and what they want to know is how we know to uh, read an mri and report an mri it's not about a particular named sign that they want named sign is for the mcq exam we have to again uh, relearn uh, may not unlearn but relearn whatever we have learned Uh, so that we can convey it in a fashion that the interviewer wants because interviewer wants to know whether i can trust this person to manage the emergency so they will ask how will you manage a stroke so step wise you have to prepare like immediately what are the bare minimum investigation i will do before ncct in the ncct what question will i ask what will i look for things should be very precise in interview because interviewer will give 2 uh, minutes or 4 minutes it's written in the uh, uh, in the document that every aspirant will get 10 to 15 minutes but honestly no one gets that because up to 100 people will qualify so they cannot give 10 to 15 minutes for everyone so it's very precise interview for 4 to 5 minutes so prepare answers which are precise and not going all around the topic and try you should not say whatever you know about a topic you should be precise and think that what all are the answers they want so topics like i told neuroradiology and clinical neurons great so before writing the exam or you, i mean what was your idea of this exam I mean you thought that you'll get ranked number one uh, honestly sir uh, uh, i am married to dr amruta varshini my wife is doing uh, the uh, uh, neurology in jipmer so she had cracked uh, neurology one year back she was aml rank 2 Wow. so <laughs> i had an idea about the branch I, honestly i would say i had an idea about the branch fr- to, from the start i had an advantage and she was there to guide me about interview also uh, honestly i she was uh, correcting my answers and all so so some idea i had already to start with uh, but at the same time working in neurology i other residents also in neurology who had cracked this exam had given me their inputs into how the exam is so honestly what the to- input that i got is that in, uh, stroke and epilepsy is a very big uh, unit that cannot be ignored because these are the emergency topics which are expected from even an md medicine so they will invest a lot of time and questions in stroke epilepsy i at least i would say starting with neurology start with the big topics like stroke epilepsy that so that you are not fatigued out and then subsequently go to the other branch uh, other topics right now what can you share your experience with speed uh sir uh, i have been associated with speed for one year so speed i have utilized so many resources like harrison based is my favorite part harrison based teaching is so good because uh harrison honestly is a book i would say which uh, to read you need a you need a point of view from the expert also so because we can read harrison in ug we can read harrison in pg and after a specialty the specialist will also read harrison i feel like the way harrison is interpreted or viewed by everyone is different a specialist will extract out top the important things from the topic that a pg post pg pass out cannot see so i felt like harrison based teaching from the specialist in speed is so much useful for me and it will be for every aspirant because uh, the general medicine top uh, questions in the ini also come from harrison i have noticed that so many general medicine uh, questions were directly taken from harrison tables this time so harrison based learning is something is not 20 second uh twin uh actually both tables are there in both editions sir so they actually they didn't go to the updates honestly uh, the inis general medicine does uh, won't focus on the updates but at this but they will uh, take the question from the uh, tables only and those two tables are there in both the editions and neat ss i i feel like neat ss will definitely focus on harrison updates also because that is a completely harrison based only on harrison <laughs> 
So who introduced Speed to you? Uh, Speed was introduced to me by my senior sir. When I uh, my senior doctor Abhishek, he's doing uh, rheumatology in Ames, Rishikesh. So, uh, so in in MD medicine, I was thinking of. uh joining immunology i had a plan of joining immunology honestly think plans change all all throughout but that is when i subscribed to speed immunology and uh, since then i have been associated with speed great great wonderful doctor what is the message that you want to give to your juniors aspiring for uh-huh. deep spirituality uh, the message for in, uh, even for uh, neurology or any specialty is that uh, to during the exam day to keep the keep your cool because whatever you learned to recall and uh, and also to avoid the silly mistake in trap questions you have to keep your cool so prepare well prepare intensively but uh, in the last 2 to 3 days don't be tense that i have been prepared so much uh, or uh, the exam won't go well because uh, honestly everyone no one can prepare neurology fully neurology is a vast one of the most extensive subject of medicine no one can prepare fully i also had in prepared every possible topic or i hadn't read any standard book like uh, uh, the uh, bradley or uh, adam and victor from cover to cover i i just went through the book uh, to look at the images so the images are beautiful and the way they explain are very good and two maybe two to three sessions of bradley only i had gone through so it's not like top rank comes from uh, reading the uh, standard textbook cover to cover or anything top rank comes from uh, retaining what you learned even if you are learning minimum things at least you should not lose that so revision is key so but uh, so going through one to two cycles of revision is key and f- before the first try cycle of revision do not think like i will finish all the topics perfectly and then start reading everything uh, will not re- uh, g- get a rank because reading everything uh, once we reach the fifth month of reading we lose whatever we learned in the first month So focus on revising what you read once or twice. Great. Time to thank and whom all you want to thank that they have helped you to build you and to make you in this stage in this career. I will start off by thanking my parents. Uh, uh, my parents have been uh, been in this journey throughout from MBBS from schooling. So even cracking MBBS wouldn't have been possible without them. Uh, then I would like to thank my wife, Dr. Amrita Arshini. Uh, my in-laws and my uncle, all of us are together as a joint family here, Pondicherry. And my <laughs> all my friends, relatives, juniors, and faculty, everyone at uh, who uh, have helped me throughout at different levels and who have supported me. I would like to thank. Uh, <laughs> I have gratitude for everyone. If, uh, people like you who inspire me to uh, uh, work towards my goal. Uh, and uh, the uh, I cannot have uh, imagined. Uh, being able to prepare at the same time because speed allowed me an opportunity to work along with preparing so the all of these factors are so much rewarding in the end <laughs> and in working with speed honestly i felt like uh, i could also brush up my previous topics and i was learning new things it, it, in, even in when i was working for the speed in uh, infectious disease material i was learning new t- new things every time and Uh, that uh, working uh, with speed has helped me improve my knowledge so much sir i i have so immense gratitude for the opportunity great doctor and you will continue to inspire thousands and thousands and lakhs of students uh, in thank years you, to come in teaching medicine thank and you sir others are really loved by students are studying in speed and you yourself is a faculty and you yourself as a student back to forth i mean this is the first experience where faculty uh, for infectious disease becomes a student for uh, neurology and acute care and scores top most rank and i again gives interview and again becomes and again continues as a faculty I mean something incredible i tell you because this is something you are unimaginably brilliant not only brilliant the dedication and the love that you have for medicine is beyond everything thank you i could, I could feel and can sense thank you very much general medicine is really blessed to have students like you really i'm telling you. really 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 and once again i wish you all the very best and all the success as a great faculty in speed and also as a great 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 uh, student of medical medicine and up to the super speciality once you decide what super speciality you are in we'll definitely get to know through that once thank again you, all the best and all the success thank you very much